Robin, he was an icon in the fight for freedom. Thousands of people have been remembering Havel here in Wenceslas Square, the same spot where he spoke to huge crowds in 1989 that sparked a revolution and brought an end to communism in this country. His words shone like lights in the darkness of communism. Czechs fittingly honored Václav Havel by reading one of his plays banned under totalitarian rule. The dissident playwright used his pen as a weapon and inspired a nation to fight for freedom. He meant a lot to the country because he served like a role model and uh, his life integrity was amazing when you compare it to the usual politicians. Havel became a modest hero in the epic struggle that ended the Cold War. He was jailed several times after the 1968 Soviet-led invasion crushed a democratic uprising in Czechoslovakia. But he continued to write, ridiculing his country and his repressive regime, calling it absurdistan. Then in 1989, he led massive street protests that became known as the Velvet Revolution that peacefully toppled 40 years of authoritarian rule. As president, he oversaw the country's bumpy transition to democracy and capitalism, as well as the peaceful breakup of Czechoslovakia in 1993. Bookish and shy, Havel was an avid rock fan that never entirely lost his 1960s flower child roots. That always made him uncomfortable with political power. I, I'm a writer and um, I want to write. I don't want to be any politician. A former chain smoker, Havel suffered from chronic respiratory illnesses, but he remained a tireless spokesman for the downtrodden, campaigning for human rights in Darfur and Myanmar. Prime Minister Harper said he was a powerful voice for human dignity, and Havel received an honorary companion of the Order of Canada in 2004 for his commitment to democracy. Former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien called him a champion of liberty. Tributes have been pouring in from around the world. That was the golden voice of our generation that spoke for freedom. The Czech parliament is expected to declare a national day of mourning tomorrow, with Havel's funeral likely to take place on Friday. Robin.